Sometimes acts of kindness that spark a circle of giving in a community can come from unexpected places. MTN's Keanu Wilson is in Libby to bring us this unique story of a children's toy. Positively Montana is sponsored by Whitefish Credit Union. It brings us great joy to know our skills and efforts are making a difference. There is a preconceived image of what an inmate is and acts like, and we shatter this image. We genuinely want to help as we pay our debt to society. It provides us a sense of self-worth and human dignity. Bears like this one have brought comfort and a sense of home to kids across Libby and Troy who have found themselves in a crisis. These bears have a unique story, just like the children who receive them. They are made by prisoners at the Washington State Penitentiary. A hat donation to the United Methodist Church in Libby from a sustainable practices lab that allows prisoners to work while serving time has turned into a gigantic circle of giving when some stuffed bears arrived in a package with the hats. How did you decide what you were going to do with these bears? I felt led to do something with these bears that supported our community and also supported these guys at Washington State Penitentiary because I knew they wanted to make a difference with something. Cyrus Lee, president of Bears and Stuff, says that they have been working with the Libby and Troy communities for almost a year. The nonprofit provides stuffed bears and quilts to children who are removed from their homes by Child Protective Services. It gives the kids something to focus on during a bad situation. It's just something that a lot of people would take for granted, a bear, really. Well, in these kids' life, it's a bear, really. It means sometimes a lot, just more than, than you can know. The prisoners make hats, quilts, paintings, and other artistic things to be sold or auctioned off. The material used to make these items comes from donations from the community. Well, there is a lot of yarn hidden in closets all over America, at least especially in Libby, Montana. And the next thing I knew, we had yarn coming in by the box full. But the giving doesn't stop with the bears and quilts. The money raised from people purchasing these works goes to local nonprofits across the Tobacco Valley, including the Libby Food Pantry. They are providing a service, uh, they're providing a product for the community when they come in and, and buy their, their uh, little bears and things that they spread all over the place. And, and uh, you know, then they're kind enough and, and to turn around and give it to a group like us. These inmates have broken the stigma that comes along with being incarcerated. It, it's an eye-opening experience. Working with these guys, they are like everybody else. They're smart, they want to make a difference, they want to do something, and they are ecstatic to know that a bear like this goes out and helps somebody in the community. In Libby, Kiana Wilson, MTN News.